Good morning. It is such a gloomy morning today. But I'm coming to you here with another update of the baby chicks. And here I am going in with some fresh water for them. And it has this color because by this time I would be putting fruit cider vinegar, which I make myself, in the water. I'm going to sit this here. The layers are ready to come out into the outdoor run. I have the little bucket with the warm water and my rag to do my pasty butt check. So I will let the big girls out first. Oop, let me just make sure I secure this gate here. Because these girls break out. So I have to literally lock myself in here. They love free ranging, so they head straight for this outdoor area and the entire yard whenever they have an opportunity to get out. But for today, I'm gonna keep them in this enclosed outdoor run space area. Good morning, y'all. Okay. I know, I know, don't be curious. Don't be curious, y'all. Hello, Miss Turkey. And we are going to check on these little peeps in here. Good morning, good morning. Good to see ya. Y'all, they're eating the food. Look, the level has dropped more than halfway and the water is almost out. So all I have to do here is do the pasty butt check, wash their water out. This is sufficient food for now. Later on today, I'll come back in when I come in to check them and refill this all the way up, but I'll allow them to finish this off. And at this time, I would have, I would be putting chick grit in their feed, which helps them to crush and digest the feed that's in their gizzard. And I see a couple pasty butt so far again today. And that's normal stuff. Now what I would also do is get my handy paint scraper and scrape all this poop off because as you can see, the poop is starting to build up because they're eating more. See that? This is all poop under here. So they're doing fine. They're doing what they're supposed to do. They're pooping, they look healthy. And like I said before, I've lost two birds because of their time in transit without heat and water. But these 13 are doing pretty fine, as you can see. All right. So first things first, we are going to do the pasty butt check. I got my water and my bucket. I got my box here. They're hiding from me. <laughs> hiding and this is why I like to raise chicks from such a young age because when you do the pasty butt check you're actually bonding with them so they get used to you holding them touching them they come to you you put your hand up they'll come directly to your hand come on girl don't be shy and so that gives them a sense of trust Knowing that you won't hurt them or anything like that. You're curious, aren't you? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the pasty butt check. You're going to be jumping out the box. So we're going to put the cover on it. Uh, most of you are doing fine. Yep. Good girl. Good girls. I'm kind of sort of in the way. Okay, this one's got to wait. You two. You three. What is going on with y'all? Y'all. Y'all. Uh, let's see. Let us see. And you just pooped. Okay. 
So out of um, 13 of these birds, I only have to do a cleaning on four of them. Okay, so it gets better. As the time passes by, this issue resolves itself pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the pasty butt check and change their water and let them be. So that's it for now. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video and share if you like. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again on Fifi's Urban Homestead and Lifestyle. Peace, y'all.